Everyone in this room has a story to tell. They are heartbreaking stories because we know how to prevent the devastating effects of bleeding disorders. We know treatment can mean the difference between life and death. We must close the gap between those who receive treatment and those who do not. The World Federation of Hemophilia has a systematic plan, country by country, we are determined to close the gap. We are traveling today to Kaolak. Kaolak is a city located in around 200 kilometers from Dakar, the capital of Senegal. And we are going to look for a 10 months old boy uh, diagnosed as a A hemophilia. Uh, two months ago. Comment ça va? Ça va bien, non? Ça va, bien. Ça va bien. Excellent. In 1990, all our patients were mostly adolescent or adult because there were no diagnosis. All the cases recognized were handicapped. Many cases died. Many have died. after the injury it has long time to away for uh, to have uh, for the, because uh, this is a situation we uh, found many uh, times. So much a carnet of real melanic. The Vrema Freyek de Plasma Big Affair Hospital be meeting. Conbumas and on Dalmo. I think uh, Mohammed has a chance, but uh, he has many risks. Mohammed uh, can uh, die every day by uh, 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 a severe hemorrhage, uh, like a cerebral, uh, cerebral hemorrhage, when uh, you have no access to treatment as you need. I think it is important that the Ministry of Health make uh, the, the, the factors products available nationwide. You can invest in machine, you can invest in treatment protocol, you can invest in uh, medications, but the most rewarding is investing in people, doing good training and giving good education to people. And one example is Dr. Saludio. <laughs> So he is now the general director of the National Blood Transfusion Center in Dakar, which is responsible for the whole blood transfusion services all over the country. I began my internship in 1992 in this uh, center. I chose to specialize in hematology. I was very excited by this disease, hemophilia, 
because it was a rare. It was rare. In this time, we have just around 20 patients. Dr. Diop started as a fellow for the World Federation of Hemophilia in the year 99, when he was invited to receive a six-week training fellowship in the pediatric hospital in Paris. In my arrival in Paris, I understand the first time what means a comprehensive care center. Uh, it is amazing that in one center, you can have many activities, and each activity is an important activity. When I returned to Senegal, we began to organize around the hematologist. And uh, in this center, we have clinic for patients. The orthopedist come, we have dentists, we have nurse who play a real role. And we have lab. One thing I learned in Paris is organization. In our uh, efforts to improve care in the West African countries, we started a medical tuning partnership between the center in Dakar, where Dr. Diop is the director now, and the Hemophilia Treatment Center, Necker, in Paris. J'ai rencontré euh, Saliou à l'hôpital Necker, où il, il venait apprendre, euh, enfin, par faire son apprentissage dans l'hématologie. We match two centers, one in an established country and one in an emerging country. And then the established center will help the emerged center to develop the work in hemophilia care. They stayed as a twinning partnership for about four years. Pour moi, ça a été une expérience fantastique de participer à ce twinning à Dakar. Donc, euh, la technique que je vous montre aujourd'hui est en fait une technique semi-quantitative. Hein. Pas... Ça, c'est très important. Quand nous avons commencé un twinning partnership, le premier step est une need assessment. So Dr. Rothschild a identifié qu'il y a encore des besoins pour améliorer le diagnostic de diagnosis. She identified the need for physiotherapy and carriers detection and women with bleeding disorders. Je pense qu'il est aussi très important de participer à, à la création au développement de nouveaux centres d'hémophilie. The WFH has established many kinds of training, and that's why we are here now for this West African Physiotherapy Training Workshop. Six countries are represented in this workshop, in addition to Nigeria, Ghana, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, and Mauritania. Is of course the host country, which is Senegal. Good morning, everybody. Bonjour, tout le monde. Vous avez beaucoup d'expérience pour faire la physiothérapie. Pour ça, la première chose, de casser le barrière entre le, le peur de physiothérapiste de toucher le hémophilie. Avec une amyotrophie We have trainers who are successful in their own countries, and they also have experience overseas, particularly in Africa. They are not paid, they are not remunerated at all. This kind of service is 100% volunteers. These volunteers use their own time, their own vacation, and the Federation is strong because of the volunteers, and that's why they are really our most precious resource. Malheureusement, lui, il, son diagnostic n'a pas, pas été fait très tôt, ce qui a entraîné un assèchement de l'articulation. Ce qui persiste toujours, c'est de petits saignements avec des douleurs qui sont aiguës. I've noticed that a lot of Senegalese are involved in physical exercises. I know that. Is he involved in any form of physical activity? And if he, if he is, what type? Oh, I don't want to do it. 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 I don't want to do it.
Non è un footballer, è un footballer. È un footballer. È Not only am I going to work with a team, but to help in the training of other physiotherapists. Because Ghana is a big country. I alone can treat all the hemophilia patients. So definitely I have colleagues, people I work with, help them, bring them on board, and help with the training at the same time, form teams. The Hemophilia Society in each country is a group of people who see hemophilia as a cause that they would fight for. Patients, parents, health professionals come together to improve the hemophilia care level in the country. Il y a de cela trois ans, je suis le président de l'association sénégalaise des hémophiles du Sénégal. Je suis moi-même hémophile à sévère parce que c'est une maladie que j'ai connue très tôt. Donc euh, j'ai eu la chance effectivement d'avoir beaucoup de connaissances en hémophilie. J'ai pu aider très tôt les enfants et les parents d'hémophiles au Sénégal. Ali Diop et moi, on a commencé vraiment à travailler ensemble. Et la particularité vraiment est qui va même au-delà du simple rapport entre médecin et malade. You can't uh, uh, deal with uh, hemophilia like uh, just a surgeon who sees just one patient and then forget it now. If you begin to have a patient of hemophilia, it is a contract you must have with him. And it is a specific and special relation because you see that this boy, you'll have to be with him uh, through the life. The Senegal Hemophilia Association is a very well-established society in the Federation, but they need more work in terms of the organization. Je voudrais vous remercier pour venir ici. C'est quoi vous pensez ça va être l'objectif spécifique? Que l'association soit forte et qu'elle puisse pousser encore plus par rapport à l'échelle nationale. Oui. C'est des choses qu'on peut apprendre, euh, comment faire du lobbying, etc. C'est des activités, je pense, dont les, dont, dont les membres de l'association ont besoin. À ça, je pense que c'est, c'est très essentiel pour, euh, pour pousser le gouvernement. Hemophilia needs constant advocacy, constant lobbying with decision makers in the country to convince them to give much more attention to hemophilia patients. Aujourd'hui, nous allons rencontrer le gouvernement une seconde fois. Il est important pour le gouvernement de comprendre que l'association sénégalaise des hémophiles a des partenaires. Comment va t Ça va bien Ils sont au courant, au cabinet. They're going to meet with the Ministry of Health in order to ask them to put more efforts to improve the hemophilia care, particularly in providing the treatment products. Monsieur le Professeur Diop, Mesdames, Messieurs. A successful hemophilia team in one country needs to be what we call the winning coalition, the hemophilia society, the health professionals and the government. If you have all these three working together, 100% guaranteed that they are going to get good hemophilia care in the country.
il est très très important pour nous, malgré toutes les démarches, d'avoir votre appui. Et que nous sommes réceptifs, malgré nos charges, nous sommes attentifs et réceptifs vraiment à, à votre plaidoyer. Merci beaucoup. Here is uh, for consultation for our patients. And in this area, we will have the bed and uh, monetary system. In 1990, we have 20 patients. In uh, 2010, we have diagnosed 260 patients. Uh, 20 years, we make large improvement in the number of uh, recognized cases. And we hope that uh, this improvement will be also continuing. The work we are doing in Senegal is being done in country after country all around the world. We are making a difference. Is there a motion to accept Ghana as an associate NMO proposed by Denmark, seconded by Q8? Thank you. All those in favor? Thank you. The motion is carried. Through the work of the WFH, you can work practically everywhere to bring these countries or the hemophilia community in one country to a better level. You need a good organization, good plan, good people to do it, and then the way we go.